Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, the seventh game in Ace Attorney series. My name is The Fightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we take one step forward to getting ourselves back on track as a lawyer. After so many years, it's Phoenix Wright's first case back and we're defending an orca. Yeah, that's, I don't mean a person named orca. I mean like an animal that's an orca that's an aquarium <laughs> I mean, it's it's totally ridiculous and totally ace attorney let's jump into it my friends I hope you're all having a wonderful fantastic day today I, I remember this Cyclox Huh? Psychedelic rock? Cyborg clocks? What? <laughs> no, no. Cyclox. It's the power of this Magatama. It gives me the ability to see secrets locked away in somebody's heart. If I can remove the locks, I can uncover their secrets. I didn't know you had a magical item like that. It looks like this lady knows something about what happened. I'll just use my Magatama and undo her Cyclox. Locks. Hmm. Sorry about that. Huh. I can't see the locks anymore. Huh? The color of that stone looks different from before. That's funny. Maybe it's just out of juice. Really? It, it can do that? Yeah, it can do that? Yeah. A certain girl I know poured her spiritual power into it for me. Without that power, I can't undo the psych locks. No way! <laughs> that was great. Huh, why do I have to keep quiet about it anyway? I've never been any good at keeping secrets. But I did promise at all, so I guess I'd better keep my mouth shut. Who did you promise what to? No comment. Now, go away. Choo, choo, choo. Ah. <sighs> Just when I thought we could find out more about the case. Let's go try to find some other way. I'm sure we'll find something. Okay, we can't do that because we don't have the ability to. I have no interest in looking at meaningless trifles. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in looking at you, blue boy. What? So now I'm a meaningless trifle too? Okay, we know what the failure state is. Oh, hello. A swashbuckler flyer? I have more than enough of those already. An adorable penguin gave it to me. The best thing about this place. Do you have any idea how many times I've visited this aquarium? Hey, what are you yelling at me for? Don't you ever get tired of coming here? Huh, you obviously don't know anything about this ship ship aquarium. They feature different mini creatures each month, so visitors never get bored. God, I want to be in this place. Can I go to this ship ship, ship, ship aquarium? So, you're a fan of ship ship aquarium like me? Oh, please! I'm here to gather information. The fundamental work of a great writer. But I don't suppose that some of you common folks would understand. Ho ho ho! Grr, that woman makes me so mad. Now, now, why don't we common folk just get back to our investigation? Okay, nothing here. Nothing on the whistle. Ooh, don't toss that under my nose. I will watch it. Are you usually pretty photogenic, Miss Diplome? Of course I am. I've been completed compared to a movie star. It's a little wonder with my perfect makeup and stylish figure. Wouldn't you agree? She wants me to agree? Oh, let's get a woman's opinion on this one. What? You're asking me? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I do think you're very pretty, Mr. Plume. Huh, I get the distinct impression. Your words are full of hidden meaning. Well, uh, I wouldn't say full so much as full figured. Ooh. Uh, Athena! 
I stop right there if I were you. Yeah, don't make fun of someone's weight. That's not nice. It's not nice at all. All right. Trying to figure out where to go to. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium. Aqua Tunnel. Hey, Detective Fulbright's gone. It looks like the police investigation is over too. That's too bad. I was hoping to get a little more out of him. Yo, 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 ho, ho! Cleaner? Nah, feeder, that's right. Yo, girl, why you hiding from me? I'm searching all around like this be a bad dream. Is that somebody rapping? Right for you, sometimes you make me so mad. But now that you're gone, and just so sad. Your wife will just come back to me. We can be together and sing. Cree, cree, cree. What's with this guy rapping and making strange bird sounds? Yikes! Who's there? You didn't hear me rapping, did you? Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah! Look, just do me a favor and pretend you ain't hearing nothing. Fine by us. And who might you be? Well, I'm Marlin Rhymes. I'm the animal keeper here. But the aquarium is already closed today. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure? You don't have to certain. Oh, are you new here or something? Wow, yeah! That's right. Pretty right, pretty good, I guess. So, uh, who are you guys? I'm Phoenix Wright. And I'm Athena Sykes. We're lawyers, and we're going to represent Orla. By taking a case to court and proving that she's innocent. Are you serious? Me want to defend an orc in a court? Hell, oh, I'd love if you hear for Orla. Well, that makes it fan to shash it. Sorry if I come across rude. Sounds like he's friends with Sasha. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I like to rap to pass the time. Especially when I'm around the animals I live. Oh, I love animals too. Especially mini creatures like dolphins and penguins. I like marine creatures too. By just the ones you can eat. Oh, come on, Phoenix. I have a heart. Yeah, well, people like animals are good people. That's what I always see. If there's anything I can do for you too, just say the word. Although I just, just started working here though, so I don't know how much help I can be. Mr. Rhymes, it's pretty friendly. Yeah, friendly and agreeable. See, I like this because already... And this is where... This is where the, the, the last case kind of dropped the ball. Even though it was okay because it was more obvious, but in this case, you legit could say that Sasha did do it. She has training with the Orca. But then again, she hired us, so she probably didn't do it. Because that would be... That would be a huge twist for someone to go out of the way to hire us when they didn't need to hire anyone. So most likely it's not her. Then we have Norma de Plume, who instantly is an arrogant, an arrogant writer, I believe she said. And uh, you could say that, hey, it's possible she might have done it. And then we had this guy, who's brand new. Who very easily could have done the murder. Because he is friends with Sasha. And because he's friends with Sasha, he probably knows how the whistles work. So already we have some suspects that could potentially have done it. Now, do I think we've seen the murderer yet? No, I don't think it's any one of these three. But you could, it could be. Like, for all we know, Marlon Rhymes got turned down from a better role and got put as Janner, so he has a grudge against the captain. Uh, she might have wanted to take his place. Although, again, why would she hire us? Because that's the one, that's the one problem with her hiring us, is it kind of eliminates her. But then again, maybe that's part of her plan. Hey, let's hire us, and, uh, nah, that, that seems like a stretch. But still, I, I like the, um, I, I like the fact that I don't know yet. I knew he is, so I didn't know. I don't really think being new here has anything to do with it this instance. 
Well, with this fire, you need a ping with sick mask the next time you come in. Oh, I want one of those! Oh, it's so awesome! Oh, yeah? That would be nice, especially if it's free. Uh, one of my favorites was... <laughs> one of my favorites was, um... So normally when I do a thumbnail on a video, uh, the thumbnail is always going to be... You know, relate to the case in some way. And... The first video of a new case is a ton of videos and stuff that you could choose at the beginning. There's a picture of the aquarium. There's a ton of things you could have done with that first video. And of course, what's my thumbnail? It's a penguin because of course it's a penguin. And uh, Connor uh, basically says, I should have known that would be your thumbnail. <laughs> I mean, it's a penguin. How could it not be my thumbnail? It, it's just the way it is. If, if there's a penguin, it's got to be on the thumbnail. Oh dear lord. Just like with uh, Credit Chronicles and I believe we had a picture of a professor wearing a penguin costume in our Hero You playlist as well. Anyway, that'd be perfect for taking a nap at the office after going for a run or something. I'd prefer you didn't take naps at the office actually. Yeah, I feel ya. Sometimes I fall asleep when I'm feeding the animals. I guess only a newborn newbie can truly understand the feelings of another newbie. Yeah, <laughs> we're kindred spirits, my sister. Kindred spirits. Two peas in a pod, birds of a feather. I suddenly feel so alone. What are we talking about again? Oh yeah, we had a picture that we were showing about the penguin mask. That's when I went off topic. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hard to. I'm not a hard person uh, to please, that is for sure. Marlon Rhymes. So, what exactly do you do here as an animal keeper? Well, mainly I clean the place and I feed the animals. Wiping all the glass takes forever. Yeah, I can imagine that. I can imagine. Hey! I like it when the protagonists are on the same page. This turtle alone must take most of the day. I also pet the food the animals eat. Well, that's the hardest part of all. You mean it's really difficult to get them to get the hang of? Yeah, I mean, I'm a vegetarian. So cutting fish and meat and stuff up creeps me out. Now there is something I never expected to hear from a pirate. That's, that's really interesting. He's a vegetarian, so cutting up meat for the animals is difficult. That's something I never even thought of, but... Makes a whole lot of sense about the murder. Do you know anything about the incident that took place this morning? Yeah, one of our guests saw how it happened and started screaming. I came running. Tommy got there, I couldn't see the work or the cat. Speaking of the captain, what was he like? Hmm, he is like a strong captain who can turn a wild bunch of ruffians into some great pirates. He always treat us fairly and equally. Human and fish is alike. He's a real deal, man. Hey, oh, what are you crying for? I, I'm not crying. It's just, I can feel your heart crying. And that's all. Gagel, what you talking about? I'm not crying either. I guess some will mention that his eyes are puffier than a pair of puffer fish. Aw, the captain was a really good man, huh? Well, I bet Sasha and our vet Dr. Crab are even more upset by his dead. Vet? This aquarium has a resident vet? Yeah, you hold up! I ain't seen Dr. Crab this morning. Staff is supposed to stay put. I like the name Dr. Crab, that's great. The night shift has already been on duty since last night, but they won't let us go home. Sasha even had to get special permission, like, to go out looking for a liar this morning. Hmm, we haven't seen anybody who looks like a vet. Well, what do vets look like? I mean, do you have to look a certain way to have a profession? Rifle. The heck does rifle mean? Were you rapping about something about looking for a weapon earlier? A rifle or something? Ha ha ha! A weapon. Rifles name one of our penguins. Oh, I love it. 
A penguin? Why would you name a penguin something like that? Yeah, hoy! Yo, 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 ho, ho! Pray for the battle, pray for the war! Little Lady Viper gonna even die score! Y'all think you can escape with your pride? Nah, you're just gonna be straight up denied! Yo, 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 ho, ho! Yo, 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 ho, ho! Well, anyway, that's what she's like. So we need to rave. <laughs> okay, but did you have to wrap it? Well, that's just how it moved. Does my full wear a backpack by any chance? But yeah, that's the one. So you've seen her here. She's always running away. She's such a good runner. Decided to put it to work to live in flies. Do you really want a dangerous penguin like that running loose? Ah, rifle's not dangerous. She only attacks people that she didn't like. When we ran into earlier, she didn't attack us. She sort of ignored us, actually. Hey, I have an idea. If you want a rifle again, would you mind feeding it for me? She didn't come back to the pool at feeding time like usual. So I've been looking for her. She loves the smell of fish, so she might come over to you if you have some. Oh, I would love to feed a penguin. Okay, Athena is just instantly a top tier character now. Okay, she's slightly below Taka. But now she's like up there. She she is like number one in my book. She is just the perfect character in every way. Why? Because she wants to feed a penguin. Aww. That'd be okay, right boss? I don't mind, as long as you carry the fish. Fishing over to Athena. A large quantity of fish for feeding right for the penguin. Not surprisingly, that has a horrible fishy smell. Hey you, it smells so fishy. I swear, I miss my calling in life. I should have been a penguinologist. Or there's actually a position of people who like study penguins. And I, I forget, I, I don't even know if they're called a penguinologist. I think I may have just made that word up. Uh, but I, I know there's a word. Um, people who study penguins, what are they called? Uh, they're called ornithologists. Uh, those who specialize in studying birds, including penguins. Uh, so yeah, I should have been an ornithologist. I should have been someone who lives with penguins. But then again, if I was, I wouldn't be here with you all. But still, if I had a chance to probably redo my life. <laughs> oh yeah, besides rifle, I've been looking for small fry too. Small fry? Is that another penguin? Nah, she's a friend of me. High school girl. She went off looking for rifle somewhere and you know it hasn't been big. Is she your girlfriend? Wait, nah, no way. Sasha's the one I... Ooh, so you like Miss Buckler, do you? Well, I really respect you, you know? We had different tastes in music, but I mind the way she lives her life. It's not like I like her. It's more complicated than that. I am pretty sure that all adds up to like. Why well, she tries to put it on a brave face? I think Captain's death is hitting her hardest of all. Well, after all, it was her human shield partner that got killed by that orca. So you think Ola really did it? Well, I can understand how Sasha feels. But she's the only one of us who doesn't think the orca did it. Oh, I see. I guess it isn't easy to believe in somebody who can't even speak up for themselves. Well, anyway, let me know if you see Rifle or Small Fry, okay? Small Fry said she was gonna go check the Orca poo. Maybe we'll head back there then. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium. Orca pool. Let's see if we can find Small Fry here. Huh? There's something on the left side of the pool that wasn't here before. What is that? It looks like an electronic sword. Hey, you're back. Hi, Sasha. What's with this strange sword here? Oh, that's a walkie-talkie. It's probably Rifle's. Wait, Rifle has a walkie-talkie? Yeah, a Rifle can use a walkie-talkie. She's always running away, so we attach the walkie-talkie to her. If we can hear the sounds around her, we can use the guess where she is. But not if she drops the walkie-talkie on the floor. If we remember, the crew has one too, so we can communicate back and forth. 
We even use them to broadcast the specific parts of the aquarium. It's cool, huh? Walkie talkie added to the court record. Issued to all aquarium staff for communication. It can apparently be used to broadcast inside the aquarium. Well, if Rifle's walkie talkie is here, then Rifle might still be here too. Rifle, come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, Jesus, God dang. Jump scared by an orca. Wait. Are you okay? You have to be careful on pools. You might slip in. I I'm more afraid of my heart jumping right out. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Hey, who's that riding on Ola? Isn't that right? Oh my god, the penguin's riding on the killer whale. Can we see a picture of this, please? Hey, you're right. Come here, rifle. Great. Aww. I she ignored me again. Why doesn't that penguin like me? Good luck. Now you scared Rifle away with all that yelling. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll make that penguin like me if it's the last thing that I do. Hey! Get back here, you little pips! Oh, so adorable! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rifle, but at least you seem alright. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> I love the penguin. Oh my god, no way! <laughs> Pearl? Wait, Pearl is small fry? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the phone! Hey, it's, it's... Pearls? Oh, Mr. Nick, I haven't seen you in ages. Could Pearls be the small fry Mr. Ryan's was talking about? God, look at her, like, all growing up now. Wow. I haven't seen you in forever. She hasn't changed that much either. She still looks like the pearls I knew. Congratulations on your return to lawyering. I I've been thinking about stopping by your office for a visit to congratulate you. This is Pearl Fay. I call her Pearls. She may dress a little funny. But that's because she's a spirit medium. A real prodigy with great power at that. I've known her since she was little, and she sometimes comes to the office to a visit. She's just a little older than Trucy, so she's been like a big sister to her. So we've been keeping in touch with them for a long time. It's not like this is the first time we've seen them in seven years. And that was the question I had with the first Ace Attorney game, and it was a question that never got answered. Which is, what happened with Maya and Pearl? because they weren't really ever brought up and I think they should have been. Um, it's sort of like, I know the canon is apparently Pearl, I don't know, it's not, not Pearl, uh, Maya and Phoenix never got together. But at the same time, it's did not even get mentioned. It's kind of a, I don't know. I, I think that's, that, that they did her wrong. I, I want to know what happened to Maya. Where's she at? And I want to know what happened to Pearl. It's good to see that we have Pearl, though. I, I guess everyone here knows Mr. Nick, then. He's such a nice guy, don't you think? Is she trying to be my big sister, too, now? Oh, my God. Pearls. Pearl Faye. What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip. I've never been to such a big aquarium before. So I was really looking forward to it. But then, that incident happened, and the police just finished questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, Mr. Nick, who's that lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes. I'm a new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency. Oh, how do you do? My name is Pearl Fay. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. Pearly it is then. It's nice to meet you. So, how did the two of you meet? Well, you know I used to travel to Europe to study the legal system, Pearls. I met Athena on one of those trips. Meeting Athena. So, tell me more about how the two of you met in Europe. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be asking the questions here. 
A long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out of a difficult jam. That's when I started uh, thinking about becoming a lawyer like him. So, you're like, you're like our mentor, huh, Mr. Nick? Oh, yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright is the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people think part. Gee, Mr. Nick, it looks like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. I've always been an adult the entire time I've known you, Pearls. <laughs> Aw, hi, Rifle. Well, would you look at that? Rifle loves you. She sure does seem to be attracted to Pearls. Hee hee, I'm so glad she likes me. Penguins are so adorable, aren't they? They sure are. I'm so glad we love. We got a bunch of flightless bird fans in the game. Oh, look at the calendar! It's so cute! I want one of those. I want one of those so bad. I even bought myself a little penguin calendar here at the aquarium gift shop. I have it hanging from my bag already. Oh, how cute! A calendar in the shape of a penguin! Well, that calendar is really hit with all our female visitors. I even have one myself. But the rest of the staff thinks it's uh, too cutesy. I guess it doesn't really fit the whole puff and tough tumble pirate image very well. I love the little penguin hat on it. But, hmm. Why does this calendar smell kind of like fish? Well, what do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please, don't be rude. Uh-oh, I got pearls mad. Calendar added to the court record. Why is that added? A penguin-shaped calendar that pearls bought at the gram. It smells fishy for some reason. There's so many pearls did this. That, that would break my heart, game. Rifle. So, you were looking for a rifle, too. That's right. I was trying to help Mr. Marlon, the animal keeper. Come here, rifle. Come on. Aww. She went towards Ola instead. <laughs> Yeah! Why can't I get my foot to like me? Well, maybe it's because you're not subbed to my channel. That's right. You want to get penguin like you? <laughs> I like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, that's probably not going to work. But still, maybe you should quit chasing her with that scowl of yours. Mr. Nick, how could you speak to a lady so rudely? Uh-oh. I got pearls mad at me. Again! Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? Oh, great idea. And I had just the thing to present her to. Oh, I'm so happy you get to be a lawyer again, Mr. Nick. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I let her friends know I was back too. I wish we could all get together. It's been quite a while. Maybe we should throw you a surprise party to celebrate your comeback. That would be... Really nice. But if you tell me about it, it won't be a surprise, you know? Oh, but, but we could spring it on you after you've forgotten and still surprise you. Such a good kid. I was really looking forward to seeing this washbuckler be spectacular. It's such a shame. Yeah, I bet you would have really enjoyed it. But I was really happy to see such a large green animal. It was quite an experience. I still have yet to see a blue whale, though. The largest green animal of them all. Yeah, um, I doubt there are any blue whales at the aquarium. You know what I just realized, too? We met Pearl at the aquarium. Uh, don't forget, when you think of the word Pearl, what do you think of? Clams, right? You know, clams opening up and having a pearl inside. Where do you find them? Under the sea? Uh, it, it kind of fits really well. Just surprised to see a beast, uh, short fry? Whatever you call her. You know, i do anything I could to help you. But I'm afraid I don't really know anything about that. That's alright, Pearls. No worries. Can you, um, look at my Magatama thingy? I mean... You have power? Rifle, I have a present for you. It's chock full of love. Here you go. Uh, that was for a rifle. Hey, Ola ate my love-filled fish. At least it looks like she enjoyed it, though. Aww. 
I think Ola and I just had a bonding moment. And she's gone. Friendship blossoming with the exchange of some food? Oh, isn't it moving, Mr. Nick? I think moving might be going a bit far. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle was attracted to the smell of fish. Now, Mr. Nick, are you saying I smell like fish? Uh, maybe just a little, yes? Hmm, I guess I need to change my clothes. That's odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. Hmm. Well, I doesn't usually want to eat at this time of the day. And we haven't been giving him more food than normal at regular meal times lately. Oh, I can't present anymore. Oh, I want to present my calendar. Shoot. Can't talk to Pearls anymore. Let me give her the fish then. You be giving me a fish? So you be challenging me a fight, eh? Ah! What? No, what kind of rule is that? That's how it goes in the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Is that the fish start fighting? The gauntlet, I mean the fish, is thrown down and the glorious battle begins. Oh, you're so cool when you're up there jumping and slashing. Ah! Play that talk, Ladassi! Compliments will get you not! Oh, you sound just like a real pirate. He <laughs> Athena just eats this stuff up. Oh, have you been using the whistle I gave you? Of course. But I can't get Ola to do any tricks. I can't believe you can command that huge creature. That's pretty impressive, Sasha. It's pretty cool, huh? I bet there aren't too many people who could say. Huh, I literally get to whistle while they work. <laughs> that must be pretty nice for you. But Ola's the only one who's impressive, really, not me. It's easy to see how much you care about Ola. You two are a good team. What? But you and I are a good team, right? We can top that. Oh, that was something new. Um. Oh, we've already done this before. Okay, I was wondering why we were able to skip through it. Talking about the parts we could play. All right. Ola's feeding habits. Is there something wrong with Ola's feeding habits lately? But yeah, something's weird. The new guy Marlin feeds all the other animals besides Ola. But the captain and I, the trainer, Responsible for feeding Ola. It was the captain's turn to feed Ola this morning. But Ola keeps coming to me and signaling that she's hungry. She wants my fish tucked filled with love. How long are you going to keep saying that? She sure is excited to make a new friend. But I don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed Ola. Ola and Rifle. Rifle and that big creature there certainly seem to love each other. This is Ola the Orca. Rifle and Ola are best of friends. They belong together like a clownfish and a sea anemone. Can I phrase that in a way us non-biology majors can understand? Oh, so this Orca is a suspect? I, I read in a book once that Orcas eat penguins. No! Fish. Don't you worry about that. Ola is here really gentle and she never eats anything but fish. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so like a cat and a dog, but the penguin is the dog and the orca is a cat. She's an old sweetheart. As a matter of fact, she even tolerates rifle picking on her. It's true, she does seem very gentle. She hardly seems like a killer whale. As lawyers, we have to do everything we can to save this gentle, beautiful creature. 
Wow, so you're gonna defend her in court? She's quite the defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Quite literally! Oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. Heck yeah, let's do this. What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual powers seem to have vanished. Oh, that Magatama brings back memories. I remember pouring my spiritual power into it. That was so many years ago. I guess that's why it's almost out now. There you go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. Wow, what is the luck of us running into you? I I'm not complaining this time. I think it's great. Thank you, Pearls. Now I can break Cyclops again. Oh, look at the music! Feels like a blast from the past. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad I could help. Well, I think I'll go find Mr. Marlin now. I have to bring Rifle to him. Probably sure seems right to tell him to spray him. Hmm, you're right. But didn't she say this was her first time here? Apparently, the skull was in the staff quarter early this morning. That's why the defective was questioner. What was Pearls doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. Thought she was Mont's friend or something. Staff quarter, huh? The staff quarter, huh? Something about that just doesn't sit well with me. Orca pool diagram updated in the court record. A cross section view of the first and second pool sections of Orca pool. Pearls apparently entered the staff corridor. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. July 20th ship shape aquarium? Aqua tunnel. It looks like Mr. Rhymes and Pearls are talking. Yeah, ahoy! Base small five is so clutch with the assist. Rhymes in the right from unit tail landing a bliss. Animal keeper rhymes are gonna get kicked. Mad pop, small five, this case nail shit. Yo, 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 ho, ho! Hey, hey, it was my pleasure. See you again sometime, Rifle. Aww. Yeah, okay, let's go, Rifle. See you, small five. Oh, Mr. Nick, I, I didn't see you there. Relation of Rhymes. Hey, Pearly, you and Mr. Rhymes seem to be really good friends. Could you tell us more about your relationship? Huh? L I? Oh! Okay. Um, Pearls, why do I see a psych lock? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. But I really shouldn't talk about it. Hmm, I don't really feel right about digging into Pearls' affairs. But she was here at the crane at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help us in court. Sorry, Pearls. I'll have to use my Magatama on you. Take that! This feels so wrong. Considering, considering uh, she just restored her power to use the Magatama, and the first person we use it on is her. Feels so wrong. A psych lock. A lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secret is hidden, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easily. But if I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. Okay, time to give it a try. Relation of Rhymes. Pearls, you have to tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There is no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me. We're just a, we're just a visit to the aquarium and an animal keep at the aquarium, that's all. But there are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't go. 
You were here before the incident occurred, weren't you? Yes, that's right. But how did you know? Someone told me you were there. I got confused and I went the wrong way. I didn't know it was a quarter just for the staff. But that's all it was, Mr. Nick. It didn't have anything to do with Mr. Marlin. Sounds reasonable. I guess I better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? The fish? W what makes you think I smell like fish? Well, there's a certain someone who convinced me it wasn't my imagination. Uh, Athena? Uh, yeah, I think it was Athena. Take that! Is there something you want to say about that person? Huh? Oh, I guess not. When it comes to something out the smell of fish, there's only one knows- Oh! Pearls, I want you to be honest with me. Why do you smell like fish? I'm so dumb. Take that! Oh, I'm so dumb, it's a penguin! Ah, it's stupid me. It's a penguin. I didn't even realize a penguin was one of the options. Aww. Yeah, I didn't even think the penguin was one of the options. A penguin that always shoots straight out of mark. She seems to love the smell of fish. So, Pro is 17 now. And he's 21. Take that! A rifle? She's apparently very attracted to the smell of fish. I can't believe it took me so long to get that. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. I bet you anything if I would just stopped and paused and thought about it for five seconds, I would have gotten it. But I was like, oh, it's got to be this one. Oh, it's got to be this one. Wait, it wasn't either. Oh, duh. So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Looks like she's still not ready to talk about it. You had an object with you that smelled fishy, too. In fact, I think that's just something to do with your secret. That one I knew. The fishy smelling calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, Pearls? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I, I can't lie to you, Mr. Nick. I'll tell you about me and Mr. Marlin and about the calendar. You know what's weird is we didn't have an HP bar. Like, normally we'd have an HP bar in those sections and that would have be filled a little bit because I completed it. Whoa, it was only one lock, but sure it took some work. Please tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. I became distracted by the gift shop almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, everyone else had moved on and I got lost. I was so embarrassed to be lost at my age. Oh, Pearls. I know big credit places are hard for you. I sort of, I sort of panicked and went down the wrong corridor. I ended up in the food prep room, and that's where I met Mr. Marlin. I really startled him when I called out to him. He jumped so much, he startled me too, and I lost my balance and fell down. Aww. Oh, Mr. Nick, I spilled so much fish all over the floor. Aww. Such a funny picture. Oh, look, there's a fish in her hair. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I guess that explains why you smell fishy, pardon the pun. Yes, my calendar fell off my bag and got buried in all the fish too. But it doesn't explain why Pearls wanted to keep it a secret. Why'd you hide it? Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, I didn't want him to get in trouble over feed sanitation regulations because of me. And Mr. Marlin said he didn't want anyone to know he was in the prep food room. Huh? Why not? What was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was scaring at a calendar. But because of me, he dropped his calendar too. We had to search for it among the fish. Wait a minute. This calendar of yours, it already has writing in it. It does? But I didn't write anything in it yet. There's something written here under today's date. Meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m. 
Maybe my calendar and Mr. Marlin's got mixed up? Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when he had the import desk announce that I was lost. So I must have first gone into the prep room at about 10.10. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? It might be a clue to the victim's movement before he was killed. Alright, but be sure to give it back to Mr. Marlin later, okay? Calendar updated? Axel belongs to Rhymes, it was accidentally switched to Pearl's calendar at 10.10am. 10, 10 Good, now maybe I'm ready to remove Mr. Plume's sec blocks too. Alright, let's go. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium. Pablo Danger. You people, again? You're becoming quiet in your sons. That veterinarian will come out, then I might just have to give up and leave. Veterinarian? Is that Dr. Crab? Mr. Vimes is talking about. You are correct. He likes to shut himself up in the back room there and won't come out. But I don't think he's ever been in there today, so I'm about ready to go home. She sure seems to know a lot about the workings of the aquarium. And maybe a little something about the incident this morning, too. Mr. Wright, this is no time to be standing there thinking to yourself. It's time to put your psychedelic clock skills to work and uncover a secret. But not psychedelic, it's not a drug! That's psych lock, Athena. Psych lock. <laughs> Take that! Why are you here? Mr. Plume, I want you to tell me the secret you're hiding. I'll do nothing of the sort. It would mean breaking my promise. I don't know who you made this promise to, but you will tell me. You're not an aquarium employee, and yet here you are after the place has closed. That must mean you're connected to the incident involving the corn owner somehow. Ho ho ho! I don't know anything about any incident involving the owner. No, I think you do. I have a piece of evidence here that suggests you do know something. I do? I do? Oh, there she is! Take that. She's in the picture! I didn't realize that was her! I thought that was the captain outside or something. According to Detective Fulbright, this shows an orca attacking the victim, but... You know, now that I have her on the screen, it, it's kind of obvious who that is. And the person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Mr. Plume. Oh, I suppose there's no hiding this bombshell figure, is there? Yes, it is. I. And I think I can guess why you're here at the aquarium. You aren't simply a visitor to the aquarium. What you really are is... Um... Uh, she's a witness of murder, that's true. She may be an employee. You are a visitor who also happened to witness the death of owner Jack Shipley. That is cur- uh, Oh, I want- to say it, but I promise the police. It's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm sure you'll feel much better once you get it all out. Ah, 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 I give up. I'll tell you everything. That was easy. That was easier than pearls. If she wanted to tell me this badly, why couldn't she just have done so from the top? I think anyone would agree that I held it in for as long as I could. But I couldn't be expected to withstand this communist badgeoning any longer. But please, calm yourself, Mr. Plume. And that's top class badgering to you. <laughs> you are correct. I witnessed the way Killer Will's crime with my own eyes. You get the problem with that, Blue Boy? Boss, uh, Mr. Plume's anger is so powerful. Even I feel like I'm about to explode. You have to do something, quick. Please, don't explode on me. You know, if she was there... 
If she was there at the time of the crime, you, you see her hands? Like, you see how her hand is? You could interpret that in two ways. Either one, she's holding up her hand in shock, or two, she has a whistle. And she's blowing that whistle to cause the orca to do something. Hmm. Is she my number one suspect now? Why are you here? Could you start with telling me what you saw? I witnessed the very moment that Killer Whale attacked the victim. I told the police what I saw as well. I'm the sort of person who simply can't rest until the truth is known. Hmm, so both Miss the Plume's statements in the footage point to Orca's guilt. Hmm? Pardon me, but you seem pretty pleased that you witnessed this incident. What? Please? Shame on you! Are you implying that I'm happy about an innocent man's death? No, no, of course not. I, I just don't get the sense that you were afraid of Ola. It's more like you were interested in her. But I never, are you, you, you know, I, I, I wasn't sure, but I was thinking that maybe. Are you perhaps one of my fans? Is that how you know? That I am the non-fiction writer, Norma de Plume. Oh, that's Norma de Plume. So, big fan, huh? I don't understand the reference to Norma. No, I, I haven't done this yet. Rifle, we know why it's called Rifle. Marlin rhymes. I'm not sure about the Marlin part, but the rhymes because he drops rhymes? Because he raps? Marlon, Marlin. Norma de Plume. I don't understand hers. De Plume could be like other oh, flower. Norma the flower? No, that doesn't make sense. Captain Jack Shipley. Idea of ships. And Jack, because that's probably a common pirate name. Uh, Aura Shipley. Sasha Buckler. I don't think her name Sasha is anything, but Buckler is a shield. Hmm. No, I've never even heard of her. Well, now that you figured me out, there's no sense in trying to hide who I am, I suppose. Talking to fans is part of a fighter's duty, after all. <laughs> but, but I'm not a fan, I tell you. Now, fiction writer. She did say she was a writer earlier. So what exactly have you written, Mr. Boom? Oh my, you mean to say that you are truly familiar with my work? I write the truth. I take great pride in my craft, you know. I've been gathering information on Ola the Killer Whale for a year now. I've been very worried about Ola's violent tendencies. And today, my concern was proven to be well justified. Ola isn't violent. She's a sweet and gentle soul. <laughs> the moment you let it go down with that thing, that killer whale, chop! Shipship Aquarium has always denied the killer whale's violent streak. But it has been rumored to attack people. But rumors are just rumors. They aren't necessarily true. Yes, I feel like that. But I only write the truth. And that's why I question the owner directly. But he refused to allow my research and even had the audacity to say to me, You're nothing but a nuisance. Come in here day after day. Don't ever come back again. Sounds like her research was a bit too much to take. But then, how did you get in here if you've been blacklisted? I have my methods. <laughs> this lady is shameless. Ola's voluntary. We won't let you speak badly of Ola. We're going to defend her. I'm only stating what I saw with my very own eyes. I came to the aquarium today to observe that killer whale. But on my way to that thing's tank, I heard its cries. You can hear Ola from the visitor's corridor? There are speakers there in the corridor up near the ceiling. Apparently, that speaker is there so visitors can hear the killer whale's sound. In any case, as I approached the killer whale's tank, I heard its cries. And when it went, I saw something terrifying. What did you see? The killer whale! 
stealing the swashbuckler's hat the owner was wearing. And then, the moment it bit him, it shook him mercilessly to death within its jaws. Oh. What? Orla? Bit the owner to death? Injustice we trust! Oh, hi, Bobby. So, I take it Mr. Plume's just finished telling you what she saw. Detective Fulbright. I guess you've already heard it, too. Yep, when we took a statement earlier. As you heard, I'm afraid that accidental death is really the only thing it could be. Yes, and a dangerous creature like that cannot be allowed to harm anyone ever again. But, but she's not dangerous. Sorry, but the prosecutor office said the case didn't have enough merit to go to trial. There was only one prosecutor, though, who expressed an interest in the case. Really? Then, could we have the prosecutor take a look at the investigative reports? Unfortunately, I doubt even he take action without evidence of a homicide. Look, I understand how you feel, Mr. Lawyer, but maybe you should just give up on this one. Not a chance. We'll just re-examine the crime scene and strengthen our case. Even if that's your version of justice, I won't stop you. We won't rest until we find proof it wasn't an accidental death, Detective. You'll see. Let's go, Mr. Wright. Time to check out that crime scene one more time. July 20th, ship shape of Gowen? Aqua pool. Or Orca pool. Alright then, let's start the re-examination. Pronto. I'm going to check out that mess in the back one more time. Athena, wait. No running. Arg! Uh, are you okay? It didn't look like she tripped, but... She's where the... Where the shoes are in a circle. Grown, I slipped. Huh? Ola? What is it, girl? Uh oh! <laughs> Athena, are you alright? She crashed into that stuff behind her. Ah, uh, I tried to get out of the way, but all I did was slip and fall. Again. That was a pretty amazing wipeout. Are you hurt? I'm okay. But why did Ola spike that ball at me? After all, the fish I gave her, I thought she liked me. Maybe she thought you were the main entree. <laughs> Very funny, boss. Ha ha ha. In any case, let's get the ball back to Ola. It's because of where you were standing. Huh? Looks like everything got shifted around when I fell on it. Hey, you're right. There are things here now that we couldn't see before. Like another ball. I guess Ola really likes them. Look, there's something new about the outline of the body, too. We better take a good look around. I like it how it remembers a lot of the stuff we've already clicked on. There we go. What is this? What's this? A coin? Oh, Mr. Wright, there's blood on it. You're right, but it's dried? Do you think it could be the victims? And what was it doing all the way over here in the first place? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now that we found blood outside the pool, it just might help us prove that there's more to this case than just accidental death. Hey, you're right. Oh, well, that's what they kept near the pool at all. Let's take coin added to the court record. Speaking of coins, take a look at this. There are a few coins around the body here, too. You're right, boss. But where did they go? They aren't here anymore. You don't think somebody picked them up, do you? Hmm. Hey, look at this mark on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Well, that's where we stand when we want to play volleyball with Ola. Volleyball, huh? Yeah, we stay in there, she'll spike the ball right at us. 
Someone always talked about it to me earlier. That was one of her tricks. It doesn't mean she hates me. Aw. Nah, she wanted to play with you. She loves volleyball. She used to play with the captain all the time. Aw. Sasha looks so sad. Okay, it's time to snap out of it. This ain't no time to be jigged and mopey like a blobfish. That's right. Time to put on a smile and stay strong, right? What's a blobfish? What do I want to know? There's a broken sword here. Hmm. The tip of the blade is missing. Guess it just broke off. Don't tell me it happened when Athena fell over. You better not be trying to put the blame on me, boss. What? No, no, of course not. No use trying to hide it. It's written all over your face. Besides, the book about isn't even here. How could I have been my fault? I better watch what I think, or I'll get everything thrown back in my face. So the doll. Oh no, that child is hurt. What? Call an ambulance. Uh, hey, it's just a dummy. It, it is. Oh, I mean, of course it is. I was just testing your response to an emergency. Well, I guess we just found out that you don't bluff while under pressure. Care, I guess I'll just have to get practicing then. I wonder what the W is for, anyway. Oh, that? Use it to train Ola. Smaller than a human, but it does the job. Some of our tricks can be pretty dangerous, so Ola practiced them on the dummy first. Forget the tricks. Those bite marks look pretty dangerous. Hey, Sasha. Would you happen to know anything about this coin? Oh, I guess I missed that one. I just finished cleaning up the rest of them. You picked up all the coins already? That's right. After the police finished the investigation, they gave me the go-ahead. I haven't found them all yet, though. Still missing a few. Well, if they aren't all besides the pool, maybe they're in the pool. Let's go to that ladder over there and take a peek at the bottom of the pool, boss. I can't see anything from here. Oh. Wow, yeah, there's a ton of coins in there. Look, I think I see something on the bottom of the pool. Hehe, <laughs> I knew it. Want me to go down and check? You can't jump in dressed like that. Go down under the weight of your clothes. No, I won't. I'm a pretty good swimmer, you know. Be that as it may, the pool's really deep. I doubt you can hold your breath that long. But maybe Sasha can. Whoa. Phoenix, look at all these coins I found at the bottom. Thanks, Sasha. So there really were more of them down there, huh? We seem to be finding them all over. I wonder how many there are all together. Including the ones I put away? There are 300 of them. They're for the show. Hmm. Sounds like they'd be heavy. About seven pounds, I'd say. A little lighter than a string fish. Well, I better go put these coins away where they belong. So, seven pounds of coins scattered all around one scene. One of them with blood on it. They had to be related to the case. I wonder how they got the blood on that one coin. Wait a minute. Could it be? Remember how Detective Fulbright said that they couldn't find a murder weapon? Well, what if these coins were the weapon? Huh? How could a little coin kill a grown man? Well, one coin by itself isn't much of a threat, but... 300 coins together could definitely be used as a weapon. All you have to do is... Um... Put them in a bag? If you put seven pounds of coins in a bag and swung it at somebody, it would make a pretty formidable blunt instrument, wouldn't it? It would explain how blood got on this coin. Oh, I get it. If that bag of coins is a weapon, then we can use it to prove all this innocence. Let's say coin update in a court record discovered inside the court archive pool. There are 300 coins and all weighing seven pounds total. This makes it likely a murder weapon. But I don't see anything resembling a coin bag around here. Maybe the killer took it with them. Yeah, it would certainly make it look like Ola did it if they did. You know what I think, Mr. Wright? The bloody coin in us should be enough to prove that this might have been a murder. I agree. Shows a possibility of a human killer rather than Ola. Yes, this is just what we needed. Let's go show this coin Detective Fulbright and Mr. Plume right away. Good idea. Let's hope this out the public danger. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium, Pub of Danger. 
Oh, you're back. So did you find anything? Okay, I get the feeling that we might be really close to the trial. However, I say however, we haven't met Dr. Crab yet. And that makes me think that there's still more investigating to be done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. But I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. Y'all are number one YouTube comedian all of YouTube. I can't say that enough because it's true. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I'll talk to you soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.